Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the new Starship Troopers games on PlayStation. In case you didn't know, there are two new Starship Troopers games dropping this month. Extermination is already out on PS5. It was released last week on Friday, October 11th. And Continuum will launch on PSVR 2 later this month on October 31st. But let's talk first about Starship Troopers Extermination. And man, what a huge disappointment. You know, I was really excited for this game, I love Helldivers too, and I obviously knew that there is no way this game would be nearly as good as Helldivers 2. Certainly not. But still, I thought it would be significantly better than this. And by this, I mean a poorly optimized console version that is almost impossible to enjoy. The frame rate is all over the place, even in performance mode. I was getting frame drops in between the frame drops, which sounds insane. You couple that with the frame pacing issues, and you have a catastrophic result. And the game doesn't even look that great to begin with, so we can't even say that the bad performance is due to the high fidelity of the game. It basically looks like a PS4 game. And even then, I'd argue that we had better looking PS4 games back in the days. The textures are low res, the assets are not high quality, and the lighting never seems to be right. So not only that the game doesn't look good, but it also doesn't run well. But let's say they can fix that, right? These are technical issues that can be fixed with future updates and patches and whatnot. Let's say in a couple of months from now, the game will look great and perform great as well. But fundamentally, is this a fun game to play or not? Is the gameplay good enough? How does the shooting feel? Well, this is gonna come down to personal preference, of course. Everyone has their own definition of fun. However, objectively speaking, and I think anyone who tried the game on console can agree with what I'm about to say. The shooting feels awful with the controller. The gameplay is very basic, and the game is very limited in scale and scope. This is no Helldivers 2, ladies and gentlemen, where you spend most of your time running through the map, completing some cool objectives, oh no. In Starship Troopers Extermination, all you do is build your base and defend it, and that's it. I mean, I know that it's going to be a wave shooter, but come on. No interesting side quests, nothing, just the same hordes of bugs spawning in the exact same locations. I don't know about you, but to me that seems very generic, very repetitive and super boring. So overall, I think it's fair to say that I was not impressed with this game. And I honestly can't see myself giving it another shot in the near future. Unlike the trailers that got me real hyped, there was literally nothing in this game that I found to be appealing. The animations are bad. Your teammates look like they're floating rather than walking. It's just an unpolished game, which is a real shame for all Starship Troopers fans on PS5. Now, as I told you at the beginning of this video, there is another Starship Troopers game on the horizon called Starship Troopers Continuum, coming to PSVR 2 on October 31st for $19.99 USD or for $17.99 if you subscribe to PS Plus. So, will this game fill the immense void left by extermination? Will PSVR 2 actually save Starship Troopers? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's very unlikely. You see, my first reaction after trying out Extermination for the first time was, thank god this is not the game that we're gonna be playing on our PSVR 2 headsets. But the more I think about it, the more I feel like the PSVR 2 game might even be worse. I know that's not the most exciting thing to hear, and I really hope that I turn out to be wrong about this one, but guys, this game is being developed by XR Games. I have nothing against XR Games, and I'm rooting for them to knock it out of the park here, but their output hasn't been that great recently, has it? In case you didn't know, or in case you forgot, these guys are the ones behind the recent Hitman 3 on Quest, and we all know how that turned out. But let's assume for a second that this is not a Hitman 3 situation, let's say we're willing to give XR Games the benefit of the doubt here, but have you guys actually seen the trailer? Yeah, it's not looking so good, isn't it? It looks like a Quest 2 game from 3 years ago, and we don't really have any idea of what the gameplay is going to be like, since they showed us like what, 3 seconds of raw gameplay? I don't want to be the harbinger of doom here, but all the signs are pointing toward a bad PSVR 2 game. Now is it possible that somehow this game will end up being great, and will surprise everyone, 
and that the amazing gameplay will somehow make up for that cartoonish art style? Sure, that's always possible. And that's what we all want, right? But if I had to put my money on it, then I would say this is gonna be very bad. But that's just me. I'm interested to know what you guys make of this. First of all, have you tried Extermination on PS5? If you have, then be sure to let me know in the comments what you think of it. And I also want to know if you think Starship Troopers Continuum will deliver on PSVR 2 or not. And that's gonna have to do it for this video guys, if you enjoyed it, if you found it informative, and for more PSVR 2 news, reviews and discussions, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and turn on the notifications as well. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, take care.